Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, let me just move the screen a little bit. Okay, so uh, this would be theorem number. Uh, we would be discussing theorem number thirteen, and to be uh, specific, uh, theorem number thirteen is just simply the inscribed angle in a semicircle is a ninety degree angle. So this is a very simple figure. Okay, it it, it simply states that um, in this figure, um, say we have this um. Uh, this is uh, A, B, C. Uh, A, B, and C. So, if our um, segment AC is a diameter, okay, then we can assume, then we can assume that this angle, this inscribed angle, angle A, B, C, is equals to a 90 degree. Why is it a 90 degree? Because it is subtended by the diameter. And for us to know better, para mas makita natin, let's go to GeoGebra again. Because again, in GeoGebra, it will give you precise measurements, okay? So, say we have this figure. I have already drawn our figure here, okay? Say we have this figure and of course, we have our um, given diameter being CA, okay? Being CA. And then of course, we have this angle CDA, okay? It is said that if you have a diameter and that given angle, inscribed angle, is subtended by it, the measurement should be 90 degrees. Okay, and let's try to see is it, if it is really 90 degrees. Oops, sorry. I think it's the other way around. Okay, so we'll have the measure of this angle and this. So you will notice it's 90 degrees. So even if I will transfer it to any given part of the circle, uh, take note, 270 and so the measure is still... Let me just um, have it here. The measure would still be 90 degrees. So you will notice it's still 90, 90, 90. Even if I will transfer, it's still 90, 90, 90. Because why? This angle, even though, you know, you will see it's so small. Because again, it's subtended by the diameter. And why is it like that? Because remember, the half of a circle, let me just draw it on this one. This circle, the diameter is divides the circle into two parts. And remember that the rotation of an entire circle is 360 degrees. And the half is of course 180, right? And remember, what is the property of an inscribed angle? The property is that any arc that it will uh, that it is subtended by, it's half of it. This arc is 180. So therefore, this inscribed angle is 90 degrees. That's why again the property uh, that theorem existed because again by the um, property of our uh, of our inscribed angles and it could be the other way around um, we don't know and I don't know actually but of course the theorem stands it's 90 degrees always based on example and what are the implications again of this one is that even if you will not see the measurement okay even if you will not see the measurement you must always assume that this one is a 90 degree this angle b is a 90 degree all the time and what's what's so special about that if that is 90 degrees okay therefore if we will trace out the figure this if we will trace out the figure we will have this oh, wait long let's create a triangle so let me undo that you will have a right triangle. Tama ba? You will have a right triangle. Okay? And that is one application of that. May right triangle ka na. Therefore, if you would know the measure of the um, diameter and one side here, you can find the measure of the other side. Kasi by Pythagorean theorem. That's one application of it. Okay? And this would be theorem number 12. So, I hope that you got this one. It's a little bit easy. Always assume that it's 90 degrees. Okay? So, thank you everyone for listening. And if you had any other questions, kindly view the video again or chat me in our group. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you po.